everyone, my name is Laura and today I'm going to show you how to create this super easy Halloween masquerade makeup look. So let's jump straight in. I'm starting by mapping out the holes for the eyes. For this you can use eyeliner but I'm using a brow pomade as I find it slightly easier to erase if you make a mistake. It will easily wipe away with the touch of a wipe or a cotton bud. You can make the holes for the eyes any shape you want. It does not necessarily need to be this shape that I'm going with today. I just thought this looked really cool. Next you will need to fill inside the space for the eyes with some concealer. This is going to act as a base for your eyeshadow while cleaning up the edges and sharpening any lines. You will just need to be careful to stay inside the lines at this point as you do not want any product to be outside of the line that you've just traced. Don't forget to come underneath as well as you will be placing some eyeshadow underneath the eye also. I'm just patting my beauty blender over the concealer to help set it in place and smooth out any creases. For eyeshadow you are free to do any look you like. I kept it quite simple using mainly reddish browns and blowing it out to the shape of a wing. I just took some red glitter for the centre of the lid before doing underneath, adding some eyeliner and some lashes to complete the eyes. Next you will need to map out the outline of your mask. I started at the centre of the forehead and worked downwards towards the temple before repeating on the other side. Don't worry about being completely accurate as mistakes are easily fixed with the touch of a wipe. Next you will need to draw the under part of the mask. This just involves drawing a line from your temple down along the cheek and across the nose and repeating the step on the other side. Once complete you will just want to check that both sides are the same before moving on. To fill in the mask I took some of Inglot 77 gel liner mixed with some jawline and began colouring inside of the lines. With this you will need to be especially careful when colouring in close to the edges as you do not want any product to end up outside of the lines. We all know how tricky and messy black eyeliner can be to remove. This is why I suggest tracing out your shape with a brow cream or pencil first. Nude lip liners are also a good option. You will also want to take care when colouring underneath the eye as to not to drag the delicate skin on this part of our face. This is why I suggest using Joraline because it will help the product to glide across the area without pulling or dragging. Clean up and sharpen any lines using some concealer before beginning to work towards applying your usual face makeup. So that's your foundation, your setting powder, and don't forget to do over the mask as well. You can also apply some bronzer to the hollows of your cheeks and into the hairline above the mask also. And then just apply some highlighter to the tip of your nose, Cupid's bow, and if you want you can apply some to the centre of your forehead over the mask also. To complete the face I'm using a bold red lip to match my eyes. Next you want to begin tracing out the lines for your cobwebs. Again, you don't need to be too accurate when doing this, although it may seem that way. However, I will assure you that cleaning up mistakes is actually pretty easy as you will just need to take some black gel liner and cover the white with it. So repeating that step on the other side until you are happy with the shape that you have. I think when I was doing this myself, I actually I uh, changed my mind a couple of times, so I ended up erasing the white lines and redrawing them. Once you're happy then you can begin filling in the inner sections to create that cobweb effect. You want to do this the whole way around the face. And bringing it down underneath as well. Once you're happy with the shape that you have, you can repeat that step, but this time only applying glitter over the white. I'm going to skip through this part because it's the same thing. Once you're happy with your glitter application, you can go ahead and pop some gemstones around the perimeter of the mask. 
Again, this process is going to be way too long to show all on camera, so I'm just going to skip through most of it. But you just want to pop it all along the top and also along the bottom as well until the two sides join up at the temple. You then want to shade in under the gemstones to create a sort of a 3D effect and to make the mask appear like it is lifting off the face. Lastly, we want to draw on our little spiders. So that just involves drawing two tiny little circles and then just drawing some legs coming out of the body. Then you just want to draw your hanging cobweb. So I just traced this in initially with black before going over it with some white to create a more realistic cobweb color. And that there is the final look. Although slightly time consuming, I do think that this is incredibly easy to achieve and that anyone can do this without any hardship. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to give me a thumbs up or a comment below. That's all from me. Happy Halloween everyone and I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye.